Alright, what's up guys? We're going to be talking about the Ciro RDA. Yeah, the Ciro. And it's out of uh, China, actually. At least I believe it's in China. So, yeah. Let's see some pictures. Let's do this. Alright guys, so you know, it's been a while since I've had a, you know, don't fix your cameras, don't fix your computers, don't fix your screens. Don't fix your screens. Uh, since I've had a Chinese dripper on the channel. And actually, the last Chinese dripper I had on the channel was a this. And that is the uh, Blitz, uh, whatever, yada yada, um, RDA. And I didn't like the feedback I got from the company that I did the review for. I said my honest opinion, they didn't like it, so they didn't sponsor or show my videos. And from that point on, I said to myself, I'm going to do high end because they appreciate it more, and I've said this in the past. Smaller companies appreciate my reviews more, I appreciate their products more. But that being said, I picked up a product called the C-Roll RDA. And this thing is not bad, okay? Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to give anything away. This is a high-looking, high-end looking RDA for a reasonable price. And it gives you some features of what you would expect on a high-end uh, RDA. And it gives you the aesthetics of what you would see on a high-end RDA. Now, yes, I do have a beanie on because it is kind of cold here. So don't, don't hate, all right? You got the WV and you got the BB Vapes. Let's do this. All right, guys, this is the C-Roll RDA by Ambitions Mod. Tss, Ambitions Mods. Uh. All right, before we get started, I'd like to say that, you know, if you guys like good e-juice or, you know, you like good prices on e-juice, check out Premium Vape Supply with my discount code, which will be in one of these uh, four corners, maybe here or here or maybe here, or maybe here, is discount code MTN20, get 20% off all your favorite e-juices, maybe like a this, or even like a this, they got both of them, and uh, if you like cotton bacon, like a this, they'll have that too, so check them out guys. Alright, so this is the packaging that the C-Roll RDA comes in, cylindrical, uh, cardboard-esque, with sticker on it type deal. Mine has this on it because I did buy it from 3F Vape, so it has this you know, purchase code and whatever the hell that is. And it has, the lid's a little bit coarse, kind of hear it. And it has all the stuff in it, kind of sounds like a uh, vitamin bottle. Alright, so let me try to zoom in, see if I can get the specs of this thing for you guys. See if I can get it to want to zoom in. Alright, so it's features, lay features. Single and dual adjustable AFC, American Football Conference. Uh, two, tilt airflow, air inflow. Alright, could have probably put uh, tilted style in air intake instead of that. That's a little bit uh, misleading. Symmetric, cyclic, cool system. Try to say that three times fast. Flavor with decent cloud. Okay, I'll take your word for that. Spare kit, one times BF pin, one times deck O-ring, two times coil screws. Well, they should have said post screws right there, but that's all right. One times drip tip O-ring. Sorry for the uh, the little bit of a glare on this. It's like shiny sticker. One times dig. Well, not dig. One times drip tip O-ring. One times hex screwdriver. Contact us. It's making it a little bit hard for my camera to focus because of all the lighting on this. Contact us and their email and all that good, good stuff. Alright, that took longer than I wanted it to. Two minutes longer, to be exact. Alright, pop the top off like Pringles. Alright, you got your extras. You got some extra O-rings. Two post screws. That is the non-squonk pin. That's actually what's installed when you first get it. But I put the squonk pin in. And they give you this big... Allen key baby screwdriver. A little bit interesting. Never seen a uh, big ass Allen thing like that on a little screwdriver. 
Alright, so let's take a little look at the gem ski itself. It is the C-Roll RDA. Let's start with the bottom. Alright, we got the bottom. It is going to say C-Roll RDA by Ambition Mods. Uh, my serial number, 0423. Stainless steel squonk pin. Protrudes quite a bit. I don't know if I ever really show you guys that, but I guess you could use this on a mech mod if you wanted to. A uh, big squonk pin narrows down quite a bit for the squonk hole. You got the negative pin right here if you want to take that out. Uh, just showing you the tolerance. You can actually take that off by itself. So I think that needs to be tightened up a little bit. Let's look at the top cap. The top cap, there is no damage. There is a slight cap damage, uh, if you know what that means. It means that the drip tip has a little bit of a damage going on, but there is no actual damage. It is mostly flat in there. You're going to notice that there's two little ledges, one right here and one right here. That's going to correspond with right here and right here it's going to act as a locking mechanism one of my favorite things about RDAs is that they have locking mechanisms not enough do it but they all everybody should at this point in the game this is your AFC part of your two-piece top cap and you're gonna have dual-sided airflow and single-sided airflow uh, this kind of restricts it down a little bit for the single-sided but you know this dual-sided is quite a bit of a lot of airflow for a 22 millimeter RDA I think I measured these to be about two millimeter uh, inner diameter air flows. All right, so let's go to the deck itself. Now I know that you guys are like, wait, what deck is that? This is the C-Roll RDA deck, but I took out the air inserts. Now I'll come back to that. So looking at the deck itself, you're going to have a place for you to put your coil rod in and that way you can still have your coils. You have both open-ended sides for the placement of your coils inside the posts. You have these little baby bitch grub screws that are the flathead style. They are both stainless steel. No gold plating at all on this deck. Kinda nice. This is your positive with the peak being around it. And this is your negative which is actually not milled into the deck because you can take it out because of that pin down there. Alright, so let's look at the airflow. Alright, so we got the airflow right here. Kind of looks like uh, the Wu Tang symbol right there. So we got your Wu Tang style half pipe type uh, airflow deal going on. This is peak. Now you will see that mine got discolored. Now I don't know if that's because of the juice I was using or because of the heat. Now, yes, you can take this out for cleaning. And let me see if I can actually do this on camera, put it back in. Yep, not hard to put back in. And there you go. That's the deck everybody wants to see. A little bit unique for coming out of China. You don't normally see them do innovative type stuff. Sorry, my camera's being a little bit ridiculous. Doesn't want to focus. But yeah, uh, these are 2.2 uh, two millimeter uh, air holes. And they are slanted down. Now, I guess what they're trying to say is it's going to hit there, go under, hit your coil. Hit here, go under, hit your coil. I don't know, you know, I feel like that's more of a gimmick than anything, but, um, you know, I'll show you how to wick it up, and yeah, we'll talk about it. This O-ring, I think they should have gone with a double O-ring, because this O-ring is kind of weak, especially when there's E-juice. Same goes with the airflow control, I think, you know, they could have made this one a little bit beefier as well. Uh, I have something to show you about this, this is proprietary. It's a proprietary drip tip. Some people are going to hate that. <clears throat> people like myself, I, you know, doesn't really matter to me. As long as it vapes well, that's really all that matters. Uh, double O-ring right there. Goes in. Very nice. Clicking. There we go. Let's put a coil in this bitch. Alright guys, so one more thing I wanted to show you right before we get to building. This is the Flave 22 RDTA. Now you'll notice something similar to both of these. They have proprietary drip tips. Or at least so you thought. This is the drip tip to the Flave 22mm RDTA, and it fits in there quite nicely, looks quite nicely. So if you want a drip tip um, for this that has a bigger bore, uh, look into these. If you can find one that fits the Flave 22 RDTA, you'll be good to go with this. Now this does not fit on the Flave 22, unfortunately, but it's weird how that works. But let's get to building this bitch. Alright, so not very hard to build this thing. You'll see that this is a 3.0 inner diameter coil. It can be a little bit difficult at times to get the legs in between here 
and to get into both leg spots, but it's not too hard, I guess. And actually, that was quite easy after I just said that, so I might as well eat my words on that one. These are the little baby bitch grub screws, so it can be a little bit difficult to screw them down at times. Like I've said in the past, guys, I don't have any music for you, and I apologize, but I figured you liked my voice. Alright, sorry, that was creepy. But I figured you'd like my voice, and you like to hear me talk sometimes, which is probably why you're here, you know? If you really think about it, you're here to hear me, not some... Alright, sorry. Alright guys, so, you know, like I said, right there is good. Uh, right before I put cotton in it, I do want to mention, you know, you don't want it too low, because if you have it too low, you know, you do have to dry burn this coil at first, because you want to get all the hot spots out, and you don't want to melt the peak underneath or on top. So you want it to be equal, you know, far away from the top of the peak, as it is the bottom of the peak. Now yes, it does take a lot to melt the peak, but just, just be careful, okay? Alright, so the cotton I'm using today is uh, cotton bacon. Uh, not Cotton Bacon Prime, but the OG Cotton Bacon, and no, not Kevin Bacon, Cotton Bacon. Alright, so I got a, you know, like I said, a 3.0 inner diameter coil in there. You don't need a super a lot amount of of cotton, as this is a squonkable uh, RDA, so, you know, even if the cotton gets dry, you know, just, just squonk that bitch. I mean, bitch. Squonk that bitch. You know, as always, guys, I, I just usually stuff my cotton down in there. I don't really take a lot of time to building. Uh, the juice I'm using is Naked 100, Hawaiian Pog, and uh, I think that's about it, guys. Uh, you know, let's put some juice on it, and there you go. I'll just make a huge mess. All right, let's go back up on top, guys. All right, guys, uh, before I get started on the pros, the cons, the yittas, and the yattas, the potatoes, the potatoes, you know what I'm saying? We're going to just uh, shout out a few people that always show me some love, then I'm going to show you some some love, you know. Alright, so, uh, first I want to shout out Premium Vape Supply, and they have all the e-juices that I like. Maybe they have the ones you like. But if they do, you can use my discount code, which could be here, or here, or maybe here, or here. And that's going to get you 20% off on any mother effing e-juice you like. Or your whole, uh, you know, whole purchase. 20% off, MTN20, what you gonna do? Alright, so the next uh, thing I'd like to shout out is uh, Squonk America. I did not pick this up from Squonk America, but they will help you find some hard-to-find RDAs, sometimes mods, some juices, uh, vaping accessories, stuff like that. And you can get them in group buys. Most of the stuff I buy comes from there. However, this did not. But you never know. They might have a group buy on this. You can pick it up. Check them out on Facebook. That was Squonk America on Facebook. Uh, the next two groups on Facebook I'd like to shoot out uh, to you guys is uh, Squonktopus. Yes, that's a funny name. But they uh, are another group on Facebook. They sometimes have group buys. Uh, great group discussions. You can kind of show your stuff off there. All that stuff. Great group, great people. Go check them out. And the last one is um, Rock Bottom Squonks. And it's another group, sort of like Squonktopus. And it, they just have great people. Sometimes you can buy stuff. Great discussions. Uh, just a great place if you're into vaping, into the hobbyist side, into just, you know, needing help in how to build something. All that stuff. Those are all some great places on Facebook. So, yeah, please check them out. Alright, so you know what I'm going to say next. I'm going to try to keep this short, sweet. And to the mother effing point. Alright, so, you know, this is the C-Roll RDA by Ambition Mods. Now, this is a company, I believe, out of China. I don't really know a lot about them. Now, this is the first Chinese dripper I've had on my channel in a long time. And the last one I had on my channel is actually right here. And it's the Blitz Ghoul RDA by Blitz Enterprise or something like that. And I stopped doing uh, Chinese drippers a long time ago because of something that had occurred after I did the review. They didn't like what I had to say about it so they wouldn't promote my video and I thought you know what if that's how they're gonna be I'm donezo. Ain't doing no Chinese drippers ever again. So I didn't. Until now because this is a dripper that should be talked about and should be reviewed. It's that good. Or is it? No it is. Uh, but yeah. Sorry getting off track. It is the C-Roll RDA and uh, let me just say some uh, negatives. Let's start off with some le negatives. 
the first negative is going to be the proprietary drip tip and that's just a big negative nowadays in the current market there should never really be a proprietary drip tip just uh, you know do the 810 do the 510 personally to me it doesn't matter if it's a good RDA with that drip tip then that you know so be it that's the drip tip you get if it's good then I'll use it now luckily because I am a reviewer and I have different RDAs I showed you below that this is the Flav 22 drip tip and it does fit and it fits perfect so it's kind of unfair for me to use this during the review but I'm going to use it anyway and I'll show you this and I will show you what the regular drip tip you know the vapor production the flavor and that stuff so another negative to me personally uh, you know the o-rings could be a little bit tighter a little bit more firm because when when this thing's juiced up it's not that it's gonna flop right off but they could use um, some 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 umpage or whatever it's called you know a bit a little bit bigger that way the uh, all the fittings are a little bit nicer uh, the last negative well I got two more one more negative they should definitely add at least one more of these uh, the posts in the bag you know just in case something were to happen yours melts or it breaks or something like that they should add one more but then again this RDA is cheap enough that if that did happen I guess you could just buy another RDA uh, the last negative is going to be those post uh, post screws they're not bad but they are those little baby bitch uh, flatheads and you know I think they could have used Allen keys or even uh, Phillips heads you know old Philip in his head alright so let's talk about uh, positives because there are some good positives uh, I would say that the flavor on this thing is uh, is a major po positive whether you're using the single airflow or the double uh, sided airflow both of them uh, produce pretty good flavor and you can actually fit a decent sized coil in here so that is another positive you can fit about a 3.0 comfortably maybe 3.5 inner diameter but watch out because you don't want to get too close to the uh, the peak. Uh, the next positive is how easy this thing is to build. This thing is probably one of the easier, easier RDAs to build. It is single coil. You just put your leads in. They don't fly out when you screw them down. So that's a, that's a good thing. Uh, the last positive for me is going to be that this thing barely ever over squonks or leaks. You would have to make it nose arc in this bitch for this thing to leak. And what I mean by that is you would have to hold this thing down till you got carpal tunnel till your finger fell off or until I don't know your hand went numb then it would over squonk and then you know you would probably have juice everywhere but if you were to squonk in the realms of normal or you know reasonable this thing is not gonna over squonk you know ever so now that I said all that got all that out of my mouth and my brain uh, let me take a quick hit or puff ski Alright, let me turn that up. I'm going to do one more. Alright, so this is a little bit more airy than what I usually like. But with the way that it's set up, uh, how the air hits it, it actually produces great flavor. And, and the airflow isn't as bad as I really thought it was going to be. And I actually, I'm very impressed with this overall. And I think that they tried to go the whole uh, high-end route with how it looks and how it vapes. And they actually did a good job. And, you know, sometimes when Chinese companies try that whole high-end look and feel, they mess up with a certain part of the RDA. Now, with this one, I'm going to say the proprietary drip tip is where they kind of messed up. Because, you know, that's gone away in the wayside for the most part. Most companies do 810, 510. Uh, one thing I did mention, I forgot to mention, is the locking... Uh, that it locks so you can take it on and off your mods is one of my favorite things on any RDA and should be on every RDA so that's a major positive when it comes to this uh, I really think that this is a great RDA I'm gonna leave it at that uh, for the $25 I paid for this uh, there's really no reason not to try this I think with the prices of most high-end RDAs I pay for and that I review uh, 25 bucks is a heaven sent I mean this thing's you know home run I will take a quick hit with the provided drip tip Now I will say this, I do like the Flav 22 drip tip on here. I think the, the wider bore on here kind of suits the airflow that this thing has. So I think that they, they should maybe include something like that. Maybe two drip tips, one a little bit wider bore, 
one uh, just like this, and they should include a 510 drip tip adapter. But that being said, guys, uh, yeah, go out and get this. Definitely a good RDA. This was the C roll by Ambition Mods. And uh, yeah, right before I go, uh, let me tell you guys that I really do appreciate you. I appreciate you. And I do thank you guys for watching me every week, watching my videos, commenting, all that stuff. It means a lot to me. You know, I love every single one of you, all 650 of you. It means a lot that I'm actually raising in subs. It means that I'm doing something right and I'm doing something that you guys like. So, that being said, Mondays, please come join us at my live show where me, Eric, Bill, and sometimes a special guest will talk about vape stuff, kind of poke fun at each other, all that stuff. Great time, 9 p.m. Eastern, my time, 6 p.m. Eastern, uh, not Eastern because that wouldn't make sense, 6 p.m. Eric's time because he thinks he's always right. You'll get the joke if you watch the show. But yeah, thanks guys. Uh, hey, let's do this.